Welcome, folks. I am Jabby Kawai, and we're going to look at the new teaser for Miss Marvel from Disney Plus. And this one is called Fantasy. Uh, I'm a little bit giggly because I'm like, I am so the target demographic for this video. Would it be weird if I was like a hardcore Miss Marvel fan? Would you look at me differently if I like knew everything about Miss Marvel backwards and forwards? Like I was, I was that kind of a fan. You know the way you, you see some of these uh, young ladies who are just losing their mind about BTS. If I was that level of excited about Miss Marvel, would that be odd, or would you guys be like, no, that that's about right? Uh, what does that say about me, or what does that say about the world at large? All right, <clears throat> let's check this out. I'm a weirdo in my room. I spend too much time in fantasy land. That is not to you. Maybe they're right. It's not really the brown girls from Jersey City who saved the world. Come on, love. What does it feel like? Cosmic. Ah! That music really, really works for this, man. I don't know if I'll ever be able to disassociate the two. Okay, let's go through this real quick. What can I say about the trailer, about this character that I didn't know nothing about? Obviously, we've got Captain Marvel here, who's part of this uh, show. I don't know what this In is. Fantasyland. Uh, if it's, this looks like a party, so it could be at her school. I don't know if it's like a science project thing. She's got a backpack on, but it looks like a party. Like you got a girl back there with a hat on. I'm looking at it right now in editing, and I'm seeing a badge on her, so it could be a science fair or like a natural history museum kind of thing. And... Well, yeah. Oh, there's a little, like, a uh, cassette reference here. That's got to be on purpose, right? I mean, that's it's Marvel. I, I don't know what that cassette reference is about, but cassettes were from the 80s. They were popular in the 80s, and then they got replaced by CDs forever. One thing, I, and I probably might be retreading some ground that I've covered before. Forgive me if I do. I don't remember exactly what I said, but one of the things I appreciate about this is, as someone who is of mixed descent, th there wasn't a lot in Western cinema that I saw that kind of looked like me. I didn't have a lot of people that looked like me that I could look up to. And so you sort of uh, end up turning to the, is that east? I don't know my east and west in here. I'm just, I'm already geographically impaired as it is. And then like inside my apartment, it's just like the world does not exist. I had to turn to uh, heroes from the east, like uh, Jackie Chan. I mean, obviously we had Bruce Lee, but he died before I was born. So Jackie Chan and, and, and Jet Li and whatnot, but they're, they're not American superheroes, right? In that sort of regard, I mean, maybe I'm, I'm projecting too much onto this, but that's sort of what I, I vibe is like. That is not to you. Maybe they're right. It's not really the brown girls from Jersey City. Yeah, so, so, so the mom is like, that's not you. If you're Asian, you've dealt with that in some form or another. Whether you're Pakistani or Indian or whatever, like, we've all kind of dealt with the same thing from our parents. Well, me and my mom's side, my dad was pretty supportive. He's the white one. <laughs> so, we've all kind of dealt with that in some capacity, some form or another. And it kind of stings, especially when you're like, no, but I want to do what all the white kids are doing, you know? My mom's obviously supportive now. Oh, I see this YouTube thing's working out. Okay, you can do that. When I'm watching something like this, because I, it's like I can't relate to a teenage girl in the slightest, I'm looking for the circumstances that I can sort of relate to in some capacity. That is definitely something that I, I can relate to, is just that. To go from, from that perspective of, well, that's just, what the fuck? Sorry, my headphones are getting caught. To go from that perspective to being a superhero, that journey, that actually does excite me. Not gonna lie, I do be I, I, I do be feeling like a little girl inside when I see that. It's pretty cool. You saved the world. I think the one thing that's sort of worrying me when I look at this is that, and I sort of experienced this many years ago with Power Rangers, or was it Big Bad Beetleborgs, or was it Power Rangers? I can't remember. There was like a little kid Power Ranger, right? It feels like a little kid with superpowers as opposed to a superhero. That's the only aspect of this that is, is concerning me a little bit, because then it has this sort of goofy effect. Take, for instance, you know, if you were to watch a, a, a kung fu film, it, like a proper, a proper film from the East, and you see a young uh, fighter, a, a young kid who's like supposed to be a martial artist. That kid looks badass, generally speaking. I mean, them Asians, they'll crack, crack that whip. That kid looks badass. Like, like go on Instagram and look up kid kung fu or something like that. I, Instagram tells me it all the time. And it's just like, I just realized how weird it sounds that I'm looking at kids on Instagram. 
these kids are, are insane with, with what they're able to pull off. Ultimately, what I'm trying to say is when the movie is telling me this kid's supposed to be badass, I believe it if it's from the East. When I see it in the West, I have to make concessions and go, okay, okay, because the movie's telling me this, I have to buy into it, if that makes any kind of sense. <laughs> a very Superman kind of moment, isn't it? All the people are looking up at her as she flies across. This speaks to me on some level. I don't know if this is exactly what is intended here. Why is this happening today? Why are you keep getting caught? Okay. I don't know if this is exactly what was intended, but generally speaking, when you go, oh, look up, is it a bird? Is it a plane? Is it a white guy in a suit? It's generally, you know, you're thinking of Superman, you're thinking of a white dude, and I don't mean to make this whole thing about that, but it can't be helped, right? You're, you're dealing with a young ethnic girl who's a superhero. Generally speaking, you're that that is who you imagine when you look up into the sky, and for the most part, even if it's not Superman, you're looking at a, a, a white superhero. And, and so all these people are looking up, the old... <laughs> <laughs> There's one white dude in the bunch here and his mouth is like, no, that's not right. It's supposed to be a white guy. I'm just playing around, but it's like his mouth is really agape. Like everyone else is like, hmm, let's see if it sticks. Let's see how long this lasts. The white guy's in shock. He's ready to protest. All I'm trying to say was with this shot, this for me harkens back to the Superman, uh, Superman, Superman stuff. This, this harkens back to the Superman stuff. It's like when you look up, it's like, is it a bird? Is it a plane? It's a, what was the last one? It's not a train. Trains aren't in the sky, not yet. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's Superman. Oh, is it usually by the third one? I thought there was like a third one before they reached Superman. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. Anyway, you get the point. I'm, I've blown this point to bits. Flog the dead horse. What does it feel like? Cosmic. Ah! The one thing that this girl's doing great is um, that I'm buying into is just her excitement about it. And that's important. That's a that's a key factor here, because even though I'm not sure if I'm buying into her as a superhero, because like I said, my concern, obviously, having not not having watched the show yet, is that it might look like I'm watching a kid do stuff as opposed to a badass who happens to be a kid. I'm buying into her excitement. I'm able to vicariously experience that because, I mean, she looks quite genuine. That's good acting. Good job uh, casting at Marvel. Thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed some of this uh, nonsensical discussion of mine. And, uh, and you endured the jokes. That's a victory in my book. You endured the jokes. So we can we can keep on.